Making a Scanif can be a gruesome activity, especially as an alpha. But it doesn't have to be, and of this small ship right here, you can print yourself ISK right, left and center very early on. With little skill investment, theoretically even as a day one alpha character by using the free 1 million skill points you get from a referral link. Although I would wonder how you're able to afford a 160 million ISK ship as a day one alpha. Anyway, in this video I will show you how you can use the ship right here, what skills to get for it and what to do with it. So let's get right into it. But playing alone in EVE sucks. So if you want to take part in an awesome community, fly fun ships, make some dank isk and have genuinely a good time with constantly people around you to hang out with. So come and join Suspect today and fight under the banner of our great supreme leader, me. So come and join our Discord today. Anyway, on with the video. Hey guys, it's me, i41. Today I'm here with another video, this time on the T1 Abyss Worm. If you're entirely new to Abyss, please go check out my basic tutorial for it, linked in the top right right now. But if you already have some little experience, you're in the absolutely right place for this. The Worm is a drone-based frigate, which gives light drones a massive HP and DPS bonus, turning its two light drones it can deploy into effectively 10. This makes it a very strong drone frigate to begin with, and a very good choice for a frigate for the Abyss. Thanks to it being a frigate, it will need three times the filaments to enter the Abyss, but also receive three times the loot and we'll use its ability to speedrun tier 1 abyss paired with the incredibly high loot it gets to run tier 1 abyss on an average of 5 to 10 minutes. That is incredibly fast and paired with the average loot of 5 to 10 million per run, that totals out at about 30 to 100 million is per hour. Although the loot can be random and sometimes you can go through the ceiling. The fitting we will run is entirely drone based with a large buffer tank, high passive shield recharge and a decent speed as well as light missiles with a decent range, allowing you to do a little bit extra DPS, but also open the loot cages already at the start of the run. However, you might now wonder, what skills do I need to run the ship? I have good news for that, I tested it on a day one alpha account, meaning you can find all the skills required to run the ship in the video description, as well as the fitting of the ship itself, very nice. This means you just need to copy them, paste them in game, and ta-da, your skill list is done. With those skills in store, all we need now is the right filaments to run. You want to run Gamma Filaments due to it giving you 50% more shield HP, which also increases your shield recharge, which turns you literally into Iron Man just with shields. God, my humor is horrible. T1 Abyss has two types of rooms. Fast rooms, characterized by a bunch of small NPCs, where you want to just grab the main cage and move on. They are very fast and take you on average maybe 60 seconds, maybe a minute, maybe two minutes. Then there's boss rooms. Boss rooms are a b and then you have one big enemy, Maybe a single extra small one, but it will take forever to kill. What you do here is you start killing them, grab one of the side cages, but only one, unless the next one is very close to it, and then run back to the main one. This will ensure that you should be back at the gate just right before the boss is about to die. But they will take around 2 to 3 minutes per room, which is significantly longer than the short ones. Apart from that, make sure to kill webbing NPCs first and move at an angle to boss enemies, not straight to them, as otherwise they will hurt a lot. Also, make sure you prioritize Kikimoros, as Kikimoros will spool up very fast. But this is already everything that is to it. It is a very simple process and requires little experience, while being highly rewarding activity-wise for new players. As a note, you can also run exotic filaments, but they will be significantly harder, as you will not have the tank bonus, and also a bit more expensive. But in the entire footage before, I was running exotic filaments, although I wouldn't really recommend it as they are significantly harder. I guess that is what you call an accident. All in all, the Wormers are relatively cheap, and effective early isk farmer and can be done anywhere, anytime. So it is a good stepping stone early on for you to build your isk farm and expand to wherever you want. Gila, Ishtar, I don't know, well, now you have to wait to get them and replace them. Just do what you want. Being isk independent early on is a very nice feature and you can upgrade the ship as well, increasing your income even more by getting tier 2 missile launchers or if you're crazy you can also get faction drone damage amplifiers. Anyway, this is all from me, so go ahead, grab yourself a worm, make yourself some nice isk, and have fun. If you did enjoy the video, remember to check out my other videos, and leave a like, subscribe, and also check out my Patreon if you do want to support me. But if you do have any questions, don't feel shy, just write a comment or DM me on Discord. I will try to respond to you and help you as well. Anyway, see you next time.